another guitar in my series on Why So Many Guitars Acoustic Edition. I think this is number eight. Um, and there were two previous guitars that kind of didn't quite fit that um, premise that why are you buying that guitar? It's just like all the others, you know, it's just another guitar. Um, and that's the 12 string, which is obviously different than a standard six string. And the high string, which is also very different than a standard um, uh, than a standard six string guitar. So those didn't need much justification to buy something like those. Um, and this is another one of those that kind of falls in that category. So of the eight, five have just been straight ahead acoustic six string guitars and three of them have been some variation on the theme. This one is a Martin, it's a J28LSE, long scale electric. It's J Jumbo 28 long scale electric and it's got a pickup in it and that's why it's electric and it's a baritone so it's actually tuned down a fourth so if I were to put a capo at the fifth fret then that would be standard standard tuning but it goes all the way down to here and that is not an E minor that's a B minor it's just huge and the G shape would be a D chord really rich kind of I call it a series as a heart attack tone um, I, I've used it in some movies a couple records I've used it on or a couple recordings it hasn't come into play a whole lot but I kind of came across this guitar because I really wanted a baritone acoustic I felt like I could I think it was I saw and I don't even know if it was really a baritone acoustic but I saw no country for old men and there was no music throughout it until the very end credits and there was this beautiful rich guitar and I went well wow, that sounds kind of like a baritone acoustic I need to get one of those and I started doing some research, and there really wasn't a whole lot out there. Um, and at the NAMM show one year, I asked Bob Taylor of Taylor Guitars, I said, are you going to make a baritone guitar? And he, he seemed to think he wouldn't. He said, no, probably not. And I also went to Martin and asked them if they were going to do it. And they said, well, um, yeah, as a matter of fact, there's a guy here that would be very interested to talk to you if you're interested. And I said, sure. And so I ended up talking to a guy from Martin who was developing a baritone acoustic was pretty pretty small um, number of people really interested in it so he's, he was interested to talk to me about it and eventually he sent me this one which is actually the prototype um, and uh, he wanted to get my opinion on it and I, I played it a lot and did a lot of a lot of different things with it and, and sent him my my little my notes and everything and uh, they let me keep it um, I ended up buying it from them for a, a, you know a cost kind of situation, uh, artist deal, and um, I, I love this guitar, it's great. It even says prototype on the inside if you can see it, I don't know, I don't think you can, but that's kind of cool. Um, the uh, Taylor eventually did come out with the, the baritone, in fact they came out with one the very next year after I asked Bob about it. Um, every year I ask Bob, are you going to make something and he'll tell me no, and then the next year they come out with it. So I, I personally take responsibility for their slot heads, their classicals, their ukuleles, and their baritones because every one of those came out about a year after I asked about them and they said, oh no, we're not going to do that. So anyway, uh, baritone acoustic, pretty rare instrument. I don't even think they make these anymore, so it would be hard to find one of these, but there are other com companies that make them. and, and uh, Taylor's, I would like to get one eventually, but Taylor actually makes a, an eight-string version where I think the middle two strings are are uh, have op octave up, so it's like a 12-string in the middle two strings. And what that does is, I guess, make it a little bit of a brighter guitar, kind of more usable. And Bob actually wanted me to play it at the NAMM show. Um, he wanted me to play some worship songs on it because he, he said that it would work great for a worship leader to kind of get that thing, and I, I totally agree. Um, anyway, so this is number eight in a series, Why So Many Guitars. I've got a few more, a couple more coming up, um, and then I'm just about done with the acoustics, so we might have to do a series on the electrics. I don't know, because that could go forever. Um, but anyway, God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.